Okay, I just wanted to pull back for you um, at home and just show you how uh, now you're starting to see a progression from something that looks a little bit more finished to something how I start. Things in the background are, are a little bit lighter and uh, things in the foreground are more contrasty. And uh, where am I going to go next now with this drawing off camera? I'm probably going to keep working this very tedious section of the leaves off camera because uh, that's something I really want to finish this upper half or upper quarter of the drawing and um, get that out of the way so I, I don't smudge the rest. Like I really don't want to work too much more on the right side of the drawing because I know that I'm going to like smudge it big time. So what I will be doing continually, and let me just do like a little bit more of it for you, is I'm going to be continually blocking in the leaves and then really, really, really paying attention to the edges of the leaves um, where they touch the sky. And, you know, group, you have to think, I'm really not getting into drawing like one small or let's just say one classic tree uh, standing alone in the field that you can really definitively see the light and the shade. But you know you really got to pay attention to the um, yellow leaves versus the dark green leaves. The yellow green leaves versus the dark green. Because the yellow leaves are telling me that that is a top plane, it's a clue, light is hitting that, and the dark green is also giving me clues and that's telling me that all those leaves are in shadow. So there's some leaves over here on this section of, of the drawing, which I haven't even gotten to yet, that are a little bit more in uh, greenish-yellow form versus dark green. And uh, that is something that I really want to make sure that I get a little bit of that into this drawing. So I just want to pull back. This is probably going to be the last video that I shoot for the day. Um, the rest of the day, I'm probably just going to draw off camera and photograph as I go. So it'll be like a kind of a, a multi approach tutorial, not just video, but video and uh, photograph. So just come on in here, block all this in. I mean, I could block this part of the drawing because it's the upper part. I'm not going to smudge it because my hand's always going to be lower. But uh, I'm just trying to get that feel of this canopy, this kind of like round feel, and have this nice and open I think that would be really cool. It wasn't in my original plan, but I definitely, I think, is something that I want to incorporate. Okay, so let me just kind of block this in a little bit more for you and see uh, where this takes me. I, I just want to pull back just a tad. I'm just going to block all this in, get my base in, and I'm scribbling. Uh, the beauty of the scribbling is that you create those wonderful light negative spaces from the paper. I've already got my base down. And, and do you also notice on this drawing, even though we have a ways to go, uh, how soft it is. And, uh, you know, there's lots of soft things going on in, in landscapes. And it's, it's not even funny. I can't wait to get to the barn and all that like little wood grain to show you how I would do it. Uh, now let's get in a little bit of foliage down over here. Just pull back. I mean, I'm leaning back now. and My nose is not to the grindstone. I'm really leaning back when I'm doing this. I'm holding my pencil way back here. And I'm using my bridge so my hand isn't touching the paper. You can see it right over here on the right side. So layer, layer, layer. Now, I, I mentioned earlier that school is starting. It is uh, September 4th maybe today. I'm not sure. And so what happens when school starts? I'm surrounded by nudity four days a week, uh, sometimes three days a week, depending on if my classes actually all run. And so when I'm surrounded by the models all the time, the models are on my mind, so I photograph them a little bit more. So I'll be photographing more models. I mean, it is pricey to photograph the models. It's $150 a pop. So I try to keep it to two models a month, to one model a month. Two models a month is like a $300 a month payment. Um, but it's it's worth it. You know, I, I really dig that online pose. I like the variety in the PDFs. You know, I'm going to be adding a PDF actually this weekend, the weekend of September 5th, of some landscape photos that I took. 
and you know maybe you want to try your hand doing what I'm doing and, and work along with me as I'm as I'm kind of working out this scene. You can work out your own scene, put your own spin on on one of these landscape uh, photos. I think that would be kind of neat. So again, I'm just putting down. Let's just call it graphite. Just putting down graphite right now. That's all I'm doing. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm blocking in tone. Okay, so I'm going to work off camera. I hope that you've gotten something from this tutorial. I know it's it's going to come out really good. I'm very excited about it. I have to go in and tweak her face. I'm really excited about the dress. Who knows, maybe I'll turn that into a different tutorial so this doesn't get so long.